<laughs> that is tasty. That is sweet. Happy holidays. Holidays coming up. Thanksgiving. <sighs> Lots of parties. Yeah. Everybody doing all kinds of different events and functions. We did a wonderful event on Sunday here at fun. No Time to Cook. We had a glass blower. Well, you had a glass blower come in, and then I did a wine tasting with him. Yep. And I was at work for a little bit. I was so bummed, and then yeah. I out. But well, let me tell you, those I heard it was a really good time. It was. It was a great Everybody's time. Everybody's put pictures all over Facebook. It was a great time. You missed mm-hmm. out. I mean, you guys missed out if you didn't show up. So it was a great time. Well, we're going to do it again because it was just Fantastic. too much fun. Yeah. yeah. And the glass blowers are available if you want to go to their studio, they'll mm-hmm. do it. But we should put a link on our video and, yeah. whoop, and let them know. Sorry, that just rocked on you. But let them know about um, how to get a hold of those guys, too, because they could they could come out to your place and do it in front of your place. I'm just saying. Just that would be fun. Yeah. I think it would be a blast. No, I thought I'm, I'm, it looked like a really cool event. It was. It was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have your happy 10th anniversary yeah. this month. Happy anniversary. Thank you. I ten years in business. Years. That's awesome. Yes, I can't believe it's been ten years. So, wow, a lot has changed. Yeah, lots of wine dinners. Lots of wine dinners. Mm-hmm. Um, we have in December. You guys will be back at my place because mm-hmm. this will be. This is coming out in Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. So, so December you're at the beginning of the month with you, and mm-hmm. then we have. Um, the Rodney Strong wine blending class oh. is coming back. I'm yeah, if they missed it, else. it was here last, was it last year, year before? I can't yeah. remember which year it was, but we did last that year. class and there wasn't a person that left that said, they, I mean, everybody, they wish they had known ahead of time and would have brought more people. Yeah. If you miss this, it's really one of those things you've got to do you early. You truly learn how to be a winemaker. It's you do. It's called the Rodney Strong Symmetry class. Yes. It's pretty neat. So, um, yeah, keep an eye out for that because we'll be selling tickets to that. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of really cool things that we do other other than just cooking and drinking wine. And we're fun. Later we're this fun. month. Oh, my oh, first cookbook comes out. Congratulations. Yes. So the 19th. Uh, congratulations. congratulations. For the, yeah, congratulations. I'm very excited about this. So if you haven't gotten your copy, get on Amazon. You can pre-order it, mm-hmm. uh, but it is available on the 19th of November. Yes. Christmas presents, if you get one from me. <laughs> yep. I'm yep, done. same here. And if you do, I'm not trying to insult you by saying that you don't know how to cook, but... <laughs> But we're keeping they're, it local. We're supporting local. We're well, just supporting they're, local. They're great, simple recipes. Even if you do like to cook, if you're just looking for something fast, delicious, awesome recipes. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. awesome. So let's dive good. in. Okay. All right. Holiday dinners. Okay. I every people get year, stressed out every year. Oh, I have right. people who just come in and they look like. Okay, you know, Uncle Joe's coming and he's coming with Aunt Sally and she likes sweet and he likes deep calves and I don't, I'm ready to pull mm-hmm. my hair out. And mm-hmm. I don't or they take all this me. time and hours to make the food and they don't think about what they're serving right. with it. Because like, it really complements it. Yeah. So. It should, that wine and food should go together and they should enhance it, what you're eating. So whenever you have the wine, and it's not a rule of, red you know steak and, and white with fish it's really not it's more about just everything it's about the flavors and the spices and, and there's good bottles in every price range you don't have to drop a hundred dollars on a bottle just because it's a, a special evening yep. i mean you could i have right. those but there's also great wines feel free. different price points <laughs> feel free to drop those hundred plus and bottles. i'll be there to help you drink it that's right so what are we drinking well, we are going to start with our meal today. We are doing a little bit of pairing with our Thanksgiving meal, but it's also for any holiday meal. So any holiday activity you have coming up, I, I'm just going to throw out there that next month we're going to talk more about gift buying. So we're going to stick okay. with just trying to pair meals today. Okay. So we today are drinking from Willamette Valley Vineyards, and it is pronounced Willamette Dammit. That's yes, on that's their how you logo. It, Willamette Dammit. Yes. Because they call it Willamette. It's yes. Willamette. It's Willamette. Willamette Valley Vineyards, we were drinking their Riesling from Oregon, and we are pairing it today with a spicy pumpkin soup, and if you think you don't like this, you You just have to try it. It Mm. is crazy good. I've had it. Yeah, and the spice in the soup, there's cumin, there's a little bit of smoked paprika, there's a little bit of cayenne pepper in it. I think it really, it actually, I know that it pairs beautifully oh, it does. with this Riesling. It just balances with the slight mm-hmm. sweetness in yeah. there because you've got a little bit of the heat, a little bit of the sweet. Yep. It just, it just blends so together so beautifully. Yep. It enhances the soup. Um, you know, we've done this, I don't know how many years, 
we've done it with the Gavers Demeanor from Gunlock Bunshu. Yeah. Um, but you Which know, is also beautiful. It is. It's and it's the whole thing is that the the like you said the sweet wine, mm-hmm. little spicy soup. It's great in that in the setting. You know, if you're doing the soup first, then of course you know you have a little relaxing wine, and it does help with the people who like sweet but don't like the dry. This is kind of that alternative for that as well. Yeah. And if you think you don't like sweet, again, try it with the food because the food will always change right. how the wine, you know, comes across on the palate. Exactly. It'll lessen the sweetness, but in exactly. a really yeah, fabulous way. Our wine. last episode was don't let sweet wine scare you. Right. Right. We right. had great yeah. Rieslings and we had all, yeah. Yeah. People just, they, they think you're sweet and then they're just turned off. So. Yeah, exactly. And you, you know, just put it on the table and tell them, shut up and drink it with your soup. So, <laughs> and we'll have the recipe for the spicy pumpkin soup at it's the end of this video. So delicious. I cannot tell you. It is one of my husband's favorites mm-hmm. that I make of yours because I can actually make this Simple. with your yeah, yeah, well, delicious recipe. I can because you, yeah. you shared that with me. <laughs> um, it, and unfortunately, it's, that one is one that's not in your it's cookbook. Not in the cookbook because it's. Maybe the next one. The next one is yeah, a little say, more advanced. I would say that would be the next kind yeah. of cookbook, okay. the next step up. But it isn't, it isn't complicated either. At it's all. such a wonderful, wonderful meal. Yeah. What else could you um, eat with this? Oh, gosh. I'm On your Thanksgiving meal, what would you... Well, you know, we, have, we do have a great recipe in the cookbook for roasted sweet potato fries. Mm. And they have a little bit, again, some the chipotle pepper. Then they have brown sugar with them. They would be a great combination oh, with this one. That delicious. Yeah. That does sound... So yeah. you're saying more of like some of your appetizers and some of your mm. like side dishes. Yep. This would be perfect for. Yep. Awesome. You guys ready to go on the meal and start eating some more? Yep. Always. What's next? Chardonnay. Right. Yeah. All right. This is powerful. This one is. This one has teeth. This one is strong. It's. It's got some serious. Color. It's a lot of, a lot of oak. It has. In a lot of years, it's it's always got points behind it. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's. This is one of the most beautiful chardonnays. It's one of the most recognized, well-known chardonnays. Sanford, but um, more importantly. I want to talk about the fact that Chardonnay, as we've mentioned, you know, Rombauer, one of your favorites. Classic. Classic. But there's also two styles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> We would love to sponsor Rombauer. Just saying, just throw that out there. Hashtag when I mess only up, wear the t-shirt. I when I mess up, I bring her Rombauer because how could she say that? It's Rombauer. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, I would never do that. Never. Anyway, so... Chardonnays, it's, there's two different types. You know, you have what they call the oak, the unoak, but really there's not. There's just one. You have oak, you have unoak, but you have balanced oak. Mm-hmm. That's how they should be. This, to me, is a very balanced oaked Chardonnay. What do we eat with this on our Thanksgiving mm. meal? Wow. Well, last night mm. we made this side dish with potatoes. It was a potato gratin. So we sauteed down onions, then we covered them with thin slices of potato, a lot of Gruyere cheese, Parmesan cheese. And she did it again. And then heavy cream and did it all over again. And bake it off. Oh, this would be luscious with that. Oh, so let's yeah. back up for a second. So if yeah. you don't know this, um, not only can you come here and have great food and wine, but then we do a very, very small, a smaller scale of this event at my store because it's, you know, we like to do other things other yeah. than just drink wine. Um, in my store. Is there something to do other than drink wine? <sighs> eat good food. Oh, yeah, okay. Go on vacation and eat good food. So we do these yeah. wine and food pairing classes. Um, and Nikki comes in and, and we'll select wines. And Gwen creates these little cuisines. I don't tell anybody what they're eating or drinking. And that's what she's talking about. Um, they served a Chardonnay with this dish. And it was the room was silent. And that's yeah. when you can tell that it's just a perfect blending. Yeah, yeah. there was none left. Do you know what else was, would be good with it that we served last night? Another fabulous side dish, sort of classic dish that we've sort of zhuzhed up, is we made a croissant roasted mushroom stuffing. Oh, yeah. Yes. So you take croissants and you rip them too. up. You, well, you roast okay. wild, assorted wild mushrooms, throw those in with a bit of cheese. And we didn't do it last night because it's vegan week, but we thought it'd be really fun to add like pancetta or bacon to it or prosciutto on top. We, we can have that for our next dinner. We can. We can repeat. It's okay. <laughs> Since I didn't it would get, be great with I, this wine. I didn't get in on last night's dinner, so, you know. I've got some great things planned for next week. Oh, sister out. Oh, sister out. 
Yeah. This yeah. Anything, you, but you know, this wine is, it's, it's complex. But this is it's, your... It's deep. And so you've got to, yeah. you've got to bring that same level of intensity to it. So that's why cream and butter and so mushrooms you, and... I would say, would you, for me, this is my stuffing mm-hmm. wine. Yeah. Because your stuffing yeah. does have like all the sage and the... You know, we used thyme in ours last night. Oh, yeah. Oddly enough, yeah, yeah, it was and great. Celery and full for me. It's yep. you know, celery, and then you do chicken stock and all the other goodies, and then that. And it's you know just, what? Yeah. That's, and that brings up a good point. And you guys have may have said this, or I missed it because I was drinking wine. Um, it and people always ask me, well, what do what do I serve with this? And I always just say, well, what is the dish that you want to focus on? What do you? What's your star? Right. Yeah. You know, what do you bring out? And then let's just pick the wine from that. Um, but you're right. This would be great with stuffing. This would be great with um, potatoes or mashed potatoes fantastic. or garlic yeah. mashed potatoes. Or... Um, well, but you know, that brings a point because we've talked about individual courses, but things, I think what stresses people out about holiday dining and entertaining is that there's such a variety. So mm-hmm. what grows goes great with the potato and the stuffing course may not work with you know the uh, the main course the entree the focus of the meal sort of things so with a little again no need to limit yourself to one bottle no right. <laughs> you know get it because like right. you said aunt sally likes yeah like sweets and uncle fred likes you know cab exactly so don't well, limit yourself we did a it was it was a you know my family kept nagging me for a while when i first started this job so they all flew in from arizona and we did this big thanksgiving meal with mm-hmm. you know basically all of my family and some friends, they all said, can you please do a food and wine pairing? Because they, they don't know what yeah. goes with what. And this was my second sort of course. I started with the soup, so good. And then I, you know, it's the stuffing and the potatoes and, the, and even with the green beans, cause it's that, you know, buttery or the, you know, olive oil type green bean. Either way, right. either how you're cooking it, it's just lush with Creamy it. Creamy casserole. No, okay, that's enough. Oddly enough, well, that's enough. I'm not suggesting the canned version at all, but if you made your own, if you made it from scratch, <laughs> if you made it from scratch, this would be great with it too. Oh. Stop it. <laughs> there's, there's that. This cookbook was made for me. It says beginners. I'm probably the one with the can. <laughs> okay, seriously, though, those are words when people say for Thanksgiving dinner that they're making, and it's like, and I made a green bean casserole, that I'm like... <laughs> You can make a good version of it, a, a homemade version. Okay, of it. well you can, but <laughs> we've said this many times. You could cook shoe leather, and I would go, "Oh my God, this was my heel a few minutes ago." And oh, that's delicious. I would go with a, a bold red with that too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, it depends. Is it a stiletto? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this was too good. This was too good. It's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now let me ask you this. Throwing this out there, a lot of families do potluck. Yeah. Would you bring your wine and your dish at the same time, like what you'd pair with it? I love my family, so and I'm sure they're not watching, but <laughs> I would always bring my own wine because at least I know it's going to be good. I do the same thing. <laughs> I do the same thing. And we'll probably mention this again next month, but it's standard just for all of you that are hosting. If someone brings you wine, that's the wine you're supposed to open. Yes. You're not supposed it's to open it otherwise before you open the one that was given to you. That's true. Yes. That's true. It, you know, some people's parties, I don't want to say any names, but some people's parties, we open them all. <laughs> and drink most of them. All right, so that was the Chardonnay. It was okay. a wonderful, wonderful course. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Goes great with turkey, too. <laughs> all right, you ready right. for Pinot Noir? Always. Let's go on to the big, big red, because everybody's got to have a red. All right, so we've gone red. Gone red. You have to have a red. Well, yeah, you do. It makes people happy. But and you, when you're going classic, you, you got to go Pinot Noir. You do. I mean, well, it yeah. is the classic Thanksgiving turkey wine. Mm-hmm. It goes with your. It's. It goes with your big turkey. You really do not want to have a big, bold, heavy cab. Yeah. With your turkey. It's oh, too much. They do. They do. They do. They do. But it's going. And to you can be- drink and eat whatever you want. But let's we're put not it this really way. judging you. Much. No, but we're, but I'm going to say what <laughs> I, I actually I had people. the big bold wines with the turkey because mm-hmm. I went to see and and then I thought maybe I just didn't put enough seasoning on my turkey because it's so lean. And that's what I was just going to say. You have how long do you cook that turkey? You're cooking all day this turkey, and then you serve it with something that's going to overpower your turkey. 
you your turkey well, should have, be the star. But there are some people who just they're gonna love what they love. They love what they love, and that's fine. But keep in mind, this goes better with your traditional seasonings on a turkey. Yeah. And ham. If you decide you oh, want to offer ham, ham, this is the perfect wine. Yeah, uh, this is a ham to go this with is that ham. option too. Yeah. Now. No, I can already start smelling it. It's I know. Just, yeah. This is Bowen. Mm-hmm. Um, this is Joe Wagner. He's a famous winemaker. This is his newest um, Pinot Noir. So rumor is this is the original Miomi. This is the what? original Miomi, but that's the rumor. I don't know if this is true, Love me some the, but I certainly, a lot of my Miomi people are, are actually trying Switching. it out yeah. just to see. We are so surprised that this is so, so new and yet it has taken off because Pinot Noir lovers really like this. Mm-hmm. Uh, you'll see in our video that we have the Bell Gloss, which is with the red wax. It's mm-hmm. the, everybody sees the Pinot Noir and they love it and they're like, oh, it's so beautiful. Really encourage people to try that. This is the same winemaker. So mm-hmm. that Pinot Noir is just yeah, okay. a little bit more of like a, a little higher tier. Yeah. This is single fabulous. Single vineyard, right? Isn't that single, single vineyard. vineyard? Single yeah. vineyard. And this is actually three different vineyards that they're blending the Pinot, Pinot Noir together. But you're getting Pinot Noir. You're not getting like any other varietals mixed in or anything. But you know what I really like about this? Because when I drink a red, my mm-hmm. tendency just for a glass of it is to go deeper, darker. So I'm kind of like a cab Zinfandel kind of, kind of girl. Mm-hmm. But what you're talking about, the people who just want a, want a cab. This is a little kind of, it's almost a bridge between the Pinot and the Cab. It has a little more, it looks inkier, it looks darker, mm-hmm. it looks like a little well, more body. Well, and you body. have a Pinot Noir that is, you know, they put it in oak barrel, it's earthy, it's deep. I mean, we tried one. The Russian River styles tend to be a little Yeah, a little we tried heartier. the El, um, Anderson Valley. Yes, Walt. Oh, yeah. so keep an eye out because you, we were just talking about yeah. this. So I've had three different reps come in. And all of them, because I'm I'm Thanksgiving, well, I'm holiday shopping right now. Ooh, it's so tough. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Oh, I have to try wine. (laughs) Okay. So each of these reps has brought in new Pinot Noirs. They have all been from Anderson Valley. And after the third one came in, I said, so is this the new area that we're focusing on? Like, is it no longer Russian River? Or then it was Santa Barbara? And and they're like, well, plus you have the... Uh, the Pinot Noir issue of the Wine Spectator had an Anderson Valley Pinot Noir on it, and yeah. that was kind of the Gold first time I actually mm-hmm. read about you know where it was there. Yeah. So I'm curious if it's it's that's the new it place. For it Pinot. kind of is. I think. I, I mean, I believe it is just because the soil is so perfect for it. And again, we're trying not to get too um, you know too geeky on the videos, but if you get a chance to just look up on the soil, they say that Sonoma area. Mm-hmm. You know, and then you've got your Anderson Valley. You've got there's different areas besides just Napa. Mm-hmm. Napa's not the only place, and every soil, every climate, every microclimate has a benefit to different varieties. Anderson Valley does love a good Pinot Noir. Yeah. I mean, the, really? the Pinot, I always say Pinot Noir is a princess grape. It, it it likes to be babied a little bit, mm-hmm. and that's the perfect soil mm-hmm. for it. So this is delicious. This is delicious. It is. Um, fruit, let's yes. smooth finish. Oh yeah. Sometimes pinots can have a little, a little interesting finish on it's them. It's got a lot of cherry to me. A lot mm-hmm. of, and, and that's mm-hmm. what pinot noir should have. A lot of like cherry and strawberry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, it's making me think of the salad that we did last night. It's a raw Brussels sprout salad. We shaved she said the Brussels, Brussels sprouts. I did. And it was Brussels good. Sprouts. And it was good. Brussels we sprouts sh- are yummy. Yeah, they can be, right? They, they should be. They are yummy. Yeah. Okay, I don't know who the ones I made. No. <laughs> but so, hers, yes. Wait, yes. well, again, she could cook a shoe. So we didn't even cook anything. That's the beauty of it. They're raw. We we shaved them. We ran them through the Cuisinart. And then we added dried cherries mm-hmm. to it, toasted pecans, mm-hmm. and we made just a simple yes, vinaigrette so and yes. Parmigiano Reggiano. And it was crazy good. It would be phenomenal with this. The berries would just be too easy. Yeah. 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 What, it, let's just assume for a second that we are not doing turkey. My house... My husband's not a turkey fan. That's just un-American. <laughs> I kind of, I don't disagree. I mean, it's so much work for uh, like so little flavor. You know, it's, it's, yeah. It makes good sandwiches the next well, day. It's, it's a does. vehicle for gravy. That's it, what it is. It, well, and if we do not have the, the big family coming over for any yeah. reason, and it's just the four of us. What are you guys having? I'm making a prime rib. Woo-hoo. Good for you. So I'm going to have a cab with my prime rib. <laughs> but what other type of things, if they are not a turkey fan, or if maybe if they're vegan, or you know, what else would you serve as far as a meal? What's the big star? Well, see, again, 
it's, I tried to suggest that we don't do turkey this year because to me it's, you know, I don't know if I'm going to get a lot of hate mail about this, but I love the sides. I'm all about the sides. So if you're vegan, so, I mean, that's where the taste, that's where the flavor is. Yeah. We have spatch, we've tried spatchcock in the turkey and that's awesome. We deep, we deep fry it, you know, you brine it and stuff. But generally it's just, it's still turkey. So yeah, to me, I, I put the, put the, uh, the emphasis on the sides and I'm with you. I would, I would actually, I'm thinking about doing a roulade this year, what a turkey that? roulade where it's sort of like, it's going to be, uh, we'll, we'll have a butterfly, you know, bird, and then we'll put the stuffing and a whole bunch of other fun stuff inside and then roll it up and roast it off so you got Ooh. all of it in one <laughs> we're both like Ooh. Ooh. what time is time <laughs> i know <laughs> so that, that was one of my other uh my other questions though is we have to kind of mention here in maryland stuffed ham yeah i have to tell you guys Ooh. all right now i'm getting the hate mail i know i'm gonna get the hate mail we first moved here i know you didn't like it did you no me neither <laughs> no and i was like what Dude, okay. last year so i actually had about. it for the first time it was interesting it's okay. I, I, you know, I'm coming awesome. from the. It's awesome. I know. Well, I know. See, I, 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 I like hang my head in shame. You know, with the the glazed ham, yeah. with all the that's that's my family. So the stuffed ham to me was like. Oh. What? So what Nikki's talking about? It is a micro local um, creation. They take corned ham and they put cut big slits all in it, and then they cook down this combination of cabbage and kale, and where you are in Southern Maryland depends on how much kale versus how much cabbage. Lots of chili pepper flakes, um, salt pepper, and then it gets shoved not into, into the holes. Oh, Just once you it should be spicy. So what would you, what wine kale. would you eat? Oh man, I, you, well, a lot of wine to make me eat what I had that time, because it was a lot of kale. I mean, all of us at the table said it was boring. <laughs> it was interesting. <laughs> and maybe I need to have chili flakes and everything else that you're talking about, because the one I had was not See, good. I think a Zinfandel would be fun with that. That might. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Or a great Riesling, one of the Rieslings we talked about, either too. It's, it should have spice. Well, it should have spice. I was going to say, with the spicy, it might be better with the Riesling, but I, yeah, that, that mine did not have. Like, Man, that is good stuff. Mine needed a whole big zen. But you know what the important thing is? You tried it. I did. And, and I you should it. try. You should try. You, you should, should try. try stuff. And if you don't like it, that's okay. Yeah. That's okay to not like food. Not your food, because your food is amazing. <laughs> and there's stuff I hate, and I try yours, and I'm like, okay, well, I like that, and I don't know why. I like that. Know. That's one of my most favorite compliments. Mm-hmm. All right, we are getting down to the nitty gritty here. Yeah, we've done our meal now. We're getting ready for the big holiday season, right? We have lots of holidays coming up. We have parties. People have Christmas parties. They have, you know, just holiday end of year part, New Year's Eve, right? That's all going to be next month. But we kind of have something special that we want to do for that filming. Yeah. What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you asked. What are so, we doing? <laughs> we are going to open it up to a studio audience next month. Yay, I we're know, having a party. Woo. So you get to be part of the party. You get to try the wines with us. And we are we have a special VIP list. But we have two spots available to our viewers. So all you need to do is share this video <laughs> like, like and subscribe any, like that too but in order to be Enjoy. eligible to be to, <laughs> part of the studio audience you have to share the video yeah yes. and then we'll choose two yes. lucky folks to join us yes. for our next taping we do have uh, a lot of patreons and they will be uh, they will be here with us so it'll be our patreon supporters plus two yeah. lucky members just as yeah. a thank you we'll, just, we'll yeah. have some good wine to drink Always. Oh, we're gonna have some great wine to drink. Um, it's it's going to be a fun little party, and I think we'll have some snacks from the cookbook too. Oh, to try. Fun. Yep. Yeah. Yep. But in the meantime, they should like, subscribe, drink, share. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me this time, hurrah! <laughs> share. Please share. share. Have a fabulous holiday, everyone. Yes. We'll see you next month. Mm -hmm.